second down. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. On second down, here's Crowell. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. A first down throw for Kaiser. A screen complete to Crowell. And now running right through it. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Second down, Kaiser. That is caught inside the five. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Corey Coleman, 29 yards. And the Browns make some inroads here on that deficit. And he'll bang that one through. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he is going to be brought down at the three-yard line. Back out of the field come the Kansas City Chiefs. As they look back to this last year, disappointment ultimately in how the season ended, Charles, no doubt. It was a weird year, though. The, the great start, the weird middle, and then the strong end. And every team in the NFL documents their season with a year-end, you know, video, movie about the season. This is going to be a tale of three seasons for them. Oh, and this is going to wind up a safety. And you know, the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Ooh. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. Well, before the possession switches here, I had written down that I wanted to talk about some of the awards this past season in the NFL. We know Brady was the MVP, but Todd Gurley, Offensive Player of the Year. How about that for a bounce back? Many were questioning whether he'd had a sophomore slump the season before. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Derek Johnson. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Before the offense changes hands here, let's look back at the Super Bowl February 5th. What a game. I know you were there calling it offensively, though. Impressive on both sides. It certainly was, and let's face it, if you're in Minnesota, it's cold outside, but you talk about the offenses, they heated up in a big way. And how about Nick Foles? The backup quarterback turned MVP. 373 yards, three touchdowns, and of course, the big one receiving on the Philly special. Quite a story. As you and I were talking about off-air, it was just a fluid game. Not a lot of penalties, just really clean play. Exactly the type of game the NFL needed for the audiences at home watching the game, and of course, people in attendance. A really well-played game. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. Fights loose, and that is what you call a hit stick. Put down to the ground hard at the 21-yard line. Second half begins with a run by Crowell. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 
Big yardage there for the Browns, 18. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go around, they won't throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Instead, he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. On the counter, it's Corral. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. Kaiser now on second down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Higgins. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Let's go. Now a handoff to Crowell. Touchdown, Isaiah Crowell, 28 yards. And the Browns move back within a couple of the lead. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. A big play there on the catch and run. 52 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. 
And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. That's going to go as a loss of seven, and it'll set him back for second down. to throw on second down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Well, they haven't had a whole lot of success in the passing game here. Now in the second half, he's thinking, I guess maybe just take a shot deep. I think you're right. Almost looking for a bailout, isn't he? Can my receiver go up and make a big play for me? Can I create a penalty downfield? Maybe pick up an interference call and get that yardage downfield? anything trying to get going again but you're right he definitely took a shot and a shot taken on third down unsuccessful fourth down now i'm gonna need some help with this one how did he miss him wide open in the end zone he's not hurried he's not hit and somehow incomplete yeah what happened during film study that's one where he's just gonna shake his head not be able to believe it six points go by the wayside on that one and we're back now here in Cleveland. It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. Come on, let go! Kaiser on first down. That's complete. It's Gordon. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 14 yards, and it's a Cleveland first down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Here we go. First down, Kaiser. There he goes inside the 30. Throw left side complete. That's Gordon. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Josh Gordon, 44 yards. And the Browns have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. So from three scores down, these guys have fought all the way back to grab the lead. And I'll just tell people what happened when they went up three scores. I wrote on your paper two words, game over, and now I'm eating those words. I, I was wrong. <laughs> a little salt, a little pepper yeah, goes hey, down pretty easily. I will admit when I make a mistake. Well, it looked like it was going that way. This is one of those paging Frank Reich moments, and I can't believe I just brought that up. Because Frank Reich at Maryland in college did it to my Tennessee volunteer. And that was a big reason why my team lost. Sounds like he still harbors some pain from that game. You know, we, we still got a little time to work it out with the doctor. <laughs> right. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They go play action here on first down. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Christian Kirksey from his outside linebacker spot, forcing the sack for a loss of eight. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Second down, here's Mahomes. He's going to wind up and air it out. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Browns' defense has a touchdown. 